All right, so the other issue I got, which I have read through, the, the other two issues I haven't read through, but the other issue I got was Vision number seven. I know this series has been going on for a little bit. Um, I just, I have these weird, like, cycles where I'll be really wanting to get into current comics, and I pick up a shitload of comics, and then I stay on it for about a month or two, and then I fall off because other stuff's going on. Like, I did that last, like, October. I picked up, like, five issues of We Are Robin and, like, six issues of Spider-Gwen, and I was, like, loving it, and then I fell off the wagon. Um, and I really hope that that's not happening again, because all the comics I picked up are really good. Like, I know the series has been going on for a while. Uh, volume 1 is done. I think that's coming out in a month or two. I think it's coming out in July. Yeah, Volume 1's coming out in July, and Volume 2's coming out in November, I think. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, so I knew Volume 1 was over, so I figured that this would be a really good jumping on point, and this is a one-shot. If you're looking for a good way... If you're trying to get into comics and just want to find something to read, pick this up, because it's a one-shot. All you need to have seen, really, is Age of Ultron and Civil War, which, if you have even a fleeting interest in comics, you've probably seen both of them. Um, but yeah, it opens on this really nice uh, page, which I have, uh, you know, splashed up as the picture for the video because I opened this and I, I didn't know it was going to start exactly like this so I thought it was just really funny um, and it goes through pretty much Vision and Scarlet Witch's entire relationship uh, there's a great just really really human moment where the Vision tells a joke and it's he doesn't do it exactly right and it's just it's really funny uh, and then you see all the Avengers in their old-school costumes which is always really fun you have like Beast in his like uh, Speedo Swim Trunks, which is just hilarious, and Iron Man in his classic, like, skin armor, which doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, uh, and it goes through their entire relationship to, uh, them living with Wonder Man, and then them getting married, having kids, uh, <laughs> the weird, like, silver vision that was in John Burden's run, uh, and then it goes to House of M., and then to Uncanny Avengers, which apparently Wonder Man and Scarlet Witch are together, which I didn't know because I only read the first volume of Reminders Uncanny Avengers, and that disappoints me because I kind of want to just find that out on my own. But this is a Scarlet Witch and Vision catch-up, so I was I should have probably been expecting that. Um, and what is the catalyst for this new series? I'm I'm gonna pick up volume one. I'm definitely picking up and got volume one just based on this issue. The art's really good. I showed somebody just and they just like flipped through it and they didn't like the art. I I don't know. I like it. It's really unique. It's not like the Dan Slot Silver Surfer, Surfer stuff. Uh, the the Dan Slot Silver Surfer stuff, which I also picked up the first volume of that, which is nice. Um, where it's like trying way too hard to be like old school comic booky. This is just old school comic bookie. This is old school Marvel at its best. It's a one shot. You don't really need any prior knowledge besides the movie, and it's just I almost teared up at the end. Like it's it's a really good book. I would I would recommend picking this up and then going through the Vision book from there. And I think I think this came out last month. I think Vision number eight is coming out in June. But I mean I should probably fact check things before I make videos about things uh, where I claim to know what I'm talking about. But yeah. Also, there's letters pages for those of you who like letters pages. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that they're bringing that back. They're just, I don't know. Marvel's going back to their roots, and I feel like DC's really trying to like change a lot of stuff. It's I, I don't know. I feel like I'm more DC than Marvel, just because I love Mar I love DC characters. Like Green Arrow and the Question are some of my favorite characters in the world. But Marvel's doing really good right now, and DC's, they've been fallen. Like, I haven't seen Batman vs. Superman yet, because I heard it was really bad, and I figured I didn't really have anything to add to the conversation, and, I don't know. From what I heard, I just, it just didn't sound like a movie I would want to see, but, yeah, I don't know. I might make a video later about, you know, just the state of the comic book industry from a person who does not regularly keep up with comic books. 
Uh, so yeah, pick up the vision. It's really good.